forgotten You're made of nothing but love Welcome to your reading for the next few days, December 7th, 8th, and 9th. This is your true love reading for the next few days. Remember that it's general, so if it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. If you would like a personal, private reading specific to you, the information will be in the description box below this video. So let's see what the messages are for the next few days for true love in your life. Well, you got luck, serendipity. They're popping out like crazy. A leg up and to the sea. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do that. Let's get some tarot. This is for all signs. For the next few days. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking the video if you like it. All right, let's see what we have. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck. The Ace of Wands, a new beginning in love for all signs. Okay, so in the recent past, you have a series of miracles and luck in your love life. I do see you're connecting with someone in the past and it's feeling very good to you. Um, there's just a warmth and a tenderness. Um, between you and someone from your past and it seems to be guided by spirit. It can be an in intimate love or friendship love. So we're not all in relationships and love comes in all forms, especially love with ourselves. So this is a true love reading and we're going to see where, um, where the love is um, coming to you from the divine in your life. So I can see that you are moving away from something um, and you have a new beginning in your love life, something solid. You know what I'm seeing in this recent past is that you have the Six of Swords. So that tells me that you've been moving away from something and going, navigating through choppy waters and um, heading towards smoother sailing. This is like a, a rite of passage for you because you have a series of miracles um, forgiving people in your past, a series of miracles helping to allow you to forgive the past and, um, and have a new beginning with this rite of passage. Very beautiful energy in your recent past. In your present, you have the Empress energy, a leg up, the Four of Pentacles, and unfin Unfinished Symphony. The Empress here is something that tells me that you are um, manifesting love within yourself, like nurturing this love um, with yourself and others because you have a leg up, which tells me that you are allowing others in your life, others to help you, and the universe to guide you. Um, in love, in love for yourself and others. You do have unfinished symphony, so um, there's that's a 10. So it's time to close out a cycle and let go of something with the four of pentacles. So you're coming into this empress energy. So you, and you have the four of pentacles. There's something you're hanging on to here. And when you let it go, it's going to allow you to come into that empress energy and this new beginning that you have. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let me just take a look at this. In, in your near future, you have, yeah, again, you're leaving something behind. I have in the recent past and the near future leaving something behind. 
a rite, a rite of passage. And yeah, because you're seeking this missing cup. Um, because the cups you have had in the past have not fulfilled you with love. And you're looking for love that is um, brand new and fulfilling. And you're going to come into it because you have the Queen of Cups and time to go in the recent future. I mean, in the um, near future. Interesting. So we're going to... You're going to be asked to just, you are going to be going with the flow. It says to the sea in the very near future. I'm going to read that card to you because I really love what it says. It's some advice for you for the near future. It says that you will be in this energy. Um, you're coming into the queen of cups, which is like really coming to this energy where you You feel confident in your heart, like your heart's opening up. Let's see what this says. Um, being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life? When events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Okay, so we need to be in the energy of trust and just allowing everything to come to you. The Queen of Cups has mastered her emotions and she doesn't go out seeking love. She allows the love to come to her. Um, she, this is the energy that you're coming into in your love life, feeling confident and worthy of love. Wow. Knowing you're lovable and allowing the ones that are to be in your life to come to you. Beautiful. Let's get some clarifiers. Your energy is amazing right now. There's something that you decided about your love life that is extremely healthy and um, brand new. Um, there's something that you're very passionate about in your love life. It's brand new. It's a gift from the divine. And you have the queen of swords, which isn't you know allowing any more bullshit into your life um, around love. This is just being very honest with yourself about what you want in love um, and yeah, not sugarcoating it when it comes to meeting people. You have a new beginning in love with the magician. The magician knows that if he wants to manifest love, that he's got to have thoughts of love in his mind. So he's pulling down the thoughts that are true from the divine rising from above and then letting those be his thoughts that he, he gives out to the world. He's got everything he needs and he knows it, but he knows that he has to have beauty in his mind if he wants to see beauty in the world. Oh my God. And underneath that is the, the nine of pentacles talks about being extremely independent financially. Um, so, you know, this woman is comfortable in her skin. So it's not really about money. It's about knowing that, um, you have everything you need inside of you, um, and so it's a wealthy state of mind. It's abundant state of mind. And we're talking about love. So in love, you know, you know that you're lovable. You know that you have a lot of love to give. You know that it's easy for you to receive and give love. That's what you're coming into. All these cards are amazing. This is your energy. Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords, the Magician, and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, so you are coming into a new understanding of love and what that means to you and what you want from it. And it's, you know, it's really coming into this unconditional love in your heart and allowing love and, um, you know, allowing more love into your life, allowing more um, opportunities for love in your life and just being very trusting that you know that love is, is who you are and what's coming to you. So let's see, clarify. Yep, you have a new beginning in love. 
This is your energy. It's the page of wands. It's a new beginning in love that you're excited and passionate about. So in the recent future, you have the six of cups with the ace of pentacles. Yeah, something, you know, a new beginning in your relationships. Um, a new beginning in your past relationships. Um, that's what I see. Solid and stable. Um, yeah, with the six of swords, that rite of passage I was talking about, you have the four of swords. So, you know, you've, you also have this new beginning at the same time. So as much as you're starting something new, there's rest and recovery here because a, re a rite of passage isn't something that is little. I mean, it's a massive change. Um, it's massive new beginnings and it's going to require you to get a lot of rest and recharging and recovery as you as you move from this old thought system into this new thought system it's into this new i mean you have a new beginning in love you have the ace of pentacles twice so in your recent past you know there's a new feeling about love the odd thing is i don't have many cups on this table and cups represent love but this is a love reading but it's a true love reading so i i think it's more about coming into here it is right here the empress with the ace of swords in your present energy so this is the aha moment the ace of swords given you from the divine now this is the realization that you are love the empress um the empress represents the divine mother um she is the most abundant card in the deck she has um mastered and i don't want to say she's she can everything about her is nurturing and growing something from the ground up and and really really giving it the the love that it deserves and that's you you are really beginning to give yourself the love and attention that you deserve you and your life you are now putting that first so this is a true love reading and we all know that we can't love anyone else until we love ourselves and that's what you've been working on you have the four of pentacles with the seven of wands so The seven of wands, I can see that you're defending, you're defending something that no longer serves you in love. It's time to end that. Let's see what it is. Let me get a little more information on this, please. Um, what needs to be let go of? that we're defending. Okay. Nine of fire, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Oh my God, that's exactly what the seven of wands stands for. Protect that which you've created. Stand your ground. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through. Justice. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Okay. All right. So Yeah, whatever you have been through in this rite of passage, you've come into the acknowledgement that you are worthy of your own life and your own joy and your own happiness. And what you need to let go of is the beliefs that you're not. Whatever happened in the past that made you feel small um, and not worthy of having your own life and love and beauty. Um, that's what 
needs to be let go of. That's what's unfinished. That's the unfinished lesson is to let go of any limiting beliefs about yourself because you are a perfect creation of the divine and your source wants you to know that you've come into your own and it's time to not back down. Stand your ground. You have discovered that you are worthy of a beautiful, abundant life and that is what you need to honor now. To love yourself enough to give yourself everything you want and then the true love is coming in and I can see that with these two new beginnings. I mean, first you're loving yourself and then you can create any relationship you want. In the near future, we have the three of wands. Okay, so... It's clarifying this eight of cups. You've gone out to find your missing cup and now you have the three of wands. So I can see that you are going to, let's see, this is the near future. Yeah, both of these cards, um, the seven of pentacles and the three of wands clarified this, um, in your love, you're kind of like, You've been working on your mind and how you perceive yourself. And now you're waiting for love to come in. I can see that in both of these cards. They know they've built a new state of mind, um, a new way of looking at love. And a, they've manifested something different. And they're waiting for this manifestation to come to reality. You know, you are being surrounded by angels and help and guides um, that are bringing you this new beginning in love. But what, what they want you to understand very clearly is that you are going to not get that new love until you realize that you are in this Nine of Pentacles energy with yourself. It's almost like you've made the transition into giving yourself what you're finally worth, um, changing your, your form life. Um, you know, this woman has everything she wants in form. That's what the Pentacles represents. But what the universe is asking you to do is to really hone that in your mind. Like, I am no longer my past state of mind. And now I have decided to have a new life inside of my mind that is loving, that has loving thoughts going constantly to myself. Noticing anytime there's a thought that's not loving, or an idea or a belief that comes in that's not loving. So you have changed the form of your life, but the spirit wants to make sure that you get exactly, you know, friends and lovers and people around you that match this, this new desire you have for abundance and um, really complete authenticity and acceptance with yourself. So it's almost like you're doing it, but you're not completely convinced in your mind that that's who you are now and where you are. So yeah, you're, um, wow. <sighs> so your um, advice and your job now is to love yourself in everything you do and say to yourself and outside of yourself. I mean, it's an inner and outer worlds have to match. Um, there are beautiful new things coming into your life you are in it, actually. You just have to believe it. <laughs> That's all that, that needs to change. The only thing that needs to change is that you need to know that this has truly happened. It's happened and it's... Um, you are now in a loving cycle of your life with yourself. And only love is coming to you now. It's just hard for you to fully incorporate it into your mind because it's such a big turn it's such a big change you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts please don't allow insecurities to hold you back i will help you archangel gabriel you see it's just this card has come up so much lately believe in yourself love yourself you're doing it it just needs to be all the time. That's all. It needs to be all the time. This is your true love reading. Your true love is yourself. <laughs> it's your higher self. You are the empress. Wow. So, so cool. Very cool. <laughs>
All right, one more card. Nothing has gone wrong. We got this the other day, or I got it. Yeah, it was a general reading. It's beautiful. Nothing has gone wrong. Yin and yang. We got this the other day. In the last few days, a change came out of the blue. It may have felt like your body and mind moved through a crack in reality as your life altered course so suddenly. Deep within, you have been craving change, and this situation brings new and different experiences to your life. You may even be feeling a little lightheaded and dazzled by the brilliance of this expanded version of you, but you are doing so well. It is now time to catch your breath and settle into your new outlook that you love yourself. This is an opportunity to look at your thoughts, ideas, and your reactions to your potential success. As you become aware and implement change, you can rise above the limits people or situations have seemingly placed on you. This card depicts the trigram of the I Ching, the Book of Changes, with a yin and yang symbol. This is a reminder that everything changes, that nothing can exist on our physical plane without its opposite, and neither is superior to the other. You can't stop anything that has manifested, but it can serve as an inspiration to create new paths aligned with your soul truth. So beautiful. It's just what the reading talked about. You are making all these beautiful changes in your love life, but it needs to be 100% of the time that you're noticing when your mind is not in love, when you are bad-mouthing yourself inside. Um, it's a new beginning for you. It's a, it's a new world where you love yourself all the time, and so you start to see that in everything and everyone around you. You are the love of your life, and then you're going to have this most beautiful you divine union given to you by the universe to even go deeper into this love for yourself. There is a partner coming in, but first you're partnered, you're partnered up with yourself until you just love yourself to death. Just give it all the love you can. Seriously, that's your job. Love yourself. And I'll see you next time. You